Humphrey Yang has a question. Oh, holy cow. All right. <laughs> so get ready. All right, buckle up. No, it's a great it's a great question. It says, um, how does one catch up if you're on the older side? Mm. So maybe you are in your 40s um, with a little retirement savings. He says, I'm never sure what to tell people. Yeah. What would you tell people? Because we, we talk about this. We get this question a lot. It's 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 really, really hard. And I, I, I feel bad continuing to use... Um, I feel bad continue to use health analogies, but there is such a like, like such a, a very it's pretty powerful. weird parallel yeah. between mm-hmm. like our health and our wealth, our finances and our physical being, right? Like it's so interesting. Um, at some point, like when you're young and uh, and early on in your life, and you're like, man, I'm just not in great shape. I want to I want to get in better shape. The advice could be as easy: Hey, cut out soda. Stop drinking cokes with your meals and start drinking water. And that'll have like a meaningful impact. You get later on in life and you're in your 40s and 50s and maybe you've let your health go and you're not at the best place and maybe you're overweight and you have you know high blood pressure, whatever. Just cutting out soft drinks might not be enough. You might have to, okay, I got to take on a workout regimen and I have to change what I'm eating and I have to change what I'm drinking and I have to change my lifestyle. I have to improve my sleep. The older you get and the further, quote unquote, behind you are, the more severe the changes have to be, but but it's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's not too late. It's either. not that's too the, late. Like, that's at the heart so of that. What I tell people who are later on, they haven't taken it seriously. Someone in their forties or in their fifties is, if you want, and this is again, this is such a, such a cliche. Such a cliche. If you want to be somewhere you've never been before, you got to be willing to do something you've never done before. So in your 50s or even in your 40s, it might require making really hard decisions. Hey, you know, I bought that BMW because I, you know, I got the promotion and I deserved and I put the time in. Hey, it might be time you got to like get rid of that car and get a more affordable car and take that savings and start dumping it into savings. Hey, you know, we used to do these massive vacations every year and it's amazing. Hey, maybe we're not doing massive vacations for for a few years. Maybe we're doing weekend getaways. You know, you have to figure out what are the things that you can cut to get more dollars working for you cuz no matter whether you are 22 or 62, when it comes to impacting your finances, we all only have two options. We can either figure out how we spend less money or make more money. And sometimes the spending less money is the thing we have to do because we can't go out and make more. Now, I get, yeah, you can Uber and you can side hustle and, and it's you an can option. Yeah, work through valid. that. But you know, if you're in your 40s and you got family, have all these other <laughs> it things, might not be as valid. You, yeah. you might not have the time and the space and the capacity. So you have to be relentless with the things that you cut. And a, a really great thing to do that I tell people, Humphrey, especially if it's like a couple that are married. Hey, sit down and write. What are the things that are the most important to you? Like, what are the things that really, really matter? Like, okay, we want to do a trip with our kids. Great. We want to do this. We want to do that. All right. Hey, I noticed on here eating out wasn't one of those. But when I looked at your budget last month, I noticed you ate out a ton. Oh, well, we just get busy and Chick-fil-A's right there. We can just stop by. And well, on the weekends, you know, we want to do this after church and da-da-da-da. And okay, great. You got to exercise discipline. If eating out is not something you value, how do we eat at home? How do we put together grocery? How how can we cut down those expenses? Okay, cars. I didn't say driving a nice car. Okay, why do you drive that car? What and and you begin really focusing on, and this is a this is totally a thing for me. He says, you know, spend relentlessly on the things that you love and the things that you value, but on everything else, cut mercilessly. I think that is especially true for people that are behind your dollars, right? Uh, when we are young, at twenty years, you know, I got this koozie. This one dollar beer cost me eighty eight dollars because for a twenty year old, twenty one year old. One dollar can turn into eighty-eight dollars by the time that they get to sixty-six. It's so powerful. By the time that you get into your forties, by the time you turn forty, it's down to seven. So the value of your dollar turning over gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So you have to focus more on the behavioral stuff that can get more dollars working for you. You don't need one dollar to turn into eighty-eight. If you need eighty-eight dollars, you got to do a couple dollars to be able to get. You got to get like. 11, 12, $13 to turn into 88 by the time you get there. So that's what I would tell people. What do you tell people that are older that need to catch up? You got to make hard decisions. If you want to change your outcome, if you want to, you know, get to the place you want to want to be, it's not going to be easy. But if you can do it, it's worth it. And yeah. we've seen people that we've, we've heard from you guys. We get emails and comments and stuff all the time that say, man, I wish I would have found you guys when I was 22 years old, but man, here I am at 39 and it's like a light bulb went off. It's like I saw 
the light for the very first time, that's great. It's not too late. The, the best time to start taking your finances seriously was yesterday, which by default means the second best time to start is today, right now, so you can do it. Absolutely. I really appreciate that about you guys because even though, like, I appreciate that you're so honest about it. Like, hey, it's going to be harder. Here are the things you have to consider. But it's rooted in this belief, like firm belief, that how your journey started does not define That's how it, it ends. That's and it, it is not too late. So... Um, honestly, very good question that we get a lot, and that's why we continue to talk about it. That's why Brian actually put uh, like a whole chapter about this in his mm-hmm. book, Millionaire right. Mission, the Boiling the, Point chapter. I mean, he take it. Well, it I up. mean, it's behind me. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we have a graphic for it potentially too. But um, yeah, Millionaire Mission, definitely check that out because it definitely, uh, you know, it's a great place to be introduced to some of these mm-hmm. things that we talk about all the time. And that's why we're going to keep talking about it. So thanks for being here, Humphrey.